Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to another scrapbooking process video. I'm on a roll here. I have got this photo here, and see how bright it is? I thought I'd put a filter on it and make it a little uh, more warmer colors. However, it didn't seem very much after it got printed, but it is a little, so I decided to keep it. And I am using 49er Market Countryside. And y'all know I love that black plaid paper a lot. <laughs> so it's going to be most of the layout. I am using fired brick and just going along the tippy tip tip of the edges to add the red to it and putting it on both of the plaid sheets. I like that background paper with uh, some flowers and it definitely goes with my photo. But uh, I love, love, love the plaid one. So it's, I, I bought extra of it. It is going to, like I said, be the main part of it. I am putting uh, washi tape. My mind went blank there on the back just to make sure it stays together because then in the very big piece of the uh, sunflower there because I wanted to save it. You know, well, the other side is the plaid. And this is the back branding strip from the paper because I use the front and the back of the paper. I have two of them, so I'm putting one on each side of the layout. And I do like that accent. I layered the photo in a brick red colored uh, cardstock and I ordered burnt orange however it has much more red to it so it goes perfect with this uh, collection and then I also did black I cut out some of the chicken wire and I used black for it too but it looks a lot darker than the black in the background because the background is stressed Distressed. Distressed, not stressed. It might be stressed too. <laughs> I tried to decide on if I wanted that um, bigger sunflower in the back or in the front. And I decided in the front it covered up too much of my chicken wire. So I went ahead and put it in the back. And then I decided it needed some grass. So I pulled out my punch. And I'm just going to cut enough to cover the area right there and that's it. I am inking it in, um, oh, what is that? Shabby shutters, maybe? Shabby shutters. I don't even own shabby shutters. I don't know why that one popped out. It is peeled paint. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Um, let's see. Oh, I, that, Rub on did not come from that package I showed you. It came from the big 12 by 12 sheet. And I didn't remember that till after I showed the package. But I did plan on using the package for some rub ons, but I couldn't figure out where I wanted them. So they didn't go on there. But it is going to be part of my title. So the title is going to be Together in the Sunshine. And if y'all have ever used the rub ons from 49 and Market, they rub on really easily. I uh, am going to cover up that bumblebee much as I hated to, but I already had the rub on there before I noticed it. So, yeah, it got covered up. I'm going to cut this alphabet apart. There's like three sets, and I'm going to just cut one off and use it. And I'm cutting the other one at similar angles to the top one. So that when I go to use it, I've got the rough edges cut already in it. And when I was looking at all the stuff that came in this this piece right here, I thought, oh, where am I going to use it? Well, the only place I could think of would be as layering. But I have figured out another way to use it on this layout part of it anyway. So I cut a chunk out to use it. Now, when I layered that photo... I wasn't thinking about how my layout was going to be. I was just trying to figure it out. And I knew I would layer my photos, so I did. But then after I layered it and got to thinking more and more about the layout, I was wishing I had done it a different way. But uh, I just went ahead and took my scissors and distressed the edges on the black. 
And then uh, I will be inking them with uh, uh, that red over there <laughs> for uh, fire, fire brick. That's it. And it's not as bright and red as the others. It's more like a faded red. So I like it a lot better than a couple other reds that I own. I am using this uh, waxed twine to put in there. It is similar colors to the plaid and the flowers that are on the red flowers that are uh, in this collection. And so I'm using it to kind of twine through the clusters. So I will be using it in three spots. Only it look like four because this one I ain't cut long enough and I will have to add to it. I am tearing my little uh, chicken wire apart so I can add bits and pieces here and there on the layered background. And of course, <laughs> I thought I cut out three. I only found two. I don't know if I disappeared somehow one of them but uh i only used two anyway so it was all right i'm this is uh a cardstock uh paper studio cardstock and although i love how heavy it is it does have white cores so i did ink anything in black soot that was blaringly white on the layout yeah, I usually do the cluster with the photo first, but I wasn't sure how far up I was going to have to have it because I knew I wanted my title to go with all in the sunshine. And so I had to do the bottom cluster first. But here's where I figured out another way to use that one card. And I did put foam tape behind the frame first. And so it is stuck to it, and then that makes the whole thing look a little more three-dimensional. So I had to put a little bit behind that flower, too. And although this little bow is red plaid, it's different from the red plaid that's over on the left, and I hesitated about using it, but then I decided it'd be all right. So I kind of angled it on there instead of hanging it straight. And I will be going back to my photo in a minute, but I had to think about it. I wasn't quite sure what else I wanted to do. I finally decided on this film strip and putting the uh, ticket on the top. Usually I put it angled at the side of something because I really like it that way. But I thought, man, I've been doing so many of these layouts lately that on video I do it all the time without video that are my favorites and I thought, well, they're kind of similar in the style. So I need to change it up just a little bit. I love using sketches, but sometimes I just want to sit down and scrap, you know, and just do my favorite designs. It's not like they're going to sit next to each other in a layout. They will be filtered here and there, depending on whose scrapbook that it is going in. Oh, next to each other, not in the layout, but in an album. I just realized I said that. Sorry. I dropped a, I think I dropped a little, one of those little pieces from the foam tape there. And I wanted, I couldn't see it on the layout. I think my hand might have been over it. So I just tilted the layout to make sure it fell off. They have been there for the photos before. <laughs> I try to remember to make sure they're not by the time I take the photos, though. Now, the photo, if you look at it, you might think the sunflowers are short. They're not. <laughs> the girls are on a platform. And it was sitting there for photos. So they look fairly tall compared to the sunflowers. But uh, it is a farm, and it has mostly... It, they have a super big sunflower patch, you know, but big enough for photos. It has mostly like pumpkins and other other vegetables that you can uh, vegetables that you can buy. Well, I guess you can eat sunflower seeds, but yeah, they have lots and lots going on there. And if you wait a few years and you go back, you're surprised at the difference. They just keep adding homemade stuff that the kids can enjoy and add to their fun. 
I am thinking that the twine, the rest of the twine, was the last thing I added to this layout. So I am almost done with it. But yeah, I am. See, <laughs> I had a lot of fun making it and using that black plaid especially. But if anybody ever wants to scrap lift, I'd be honored. Yeah, I consider it a compliment, so feel free to scrap lift or use as inspiration at any time at all. And that is my completed layout. And this is the title section. And I did have that little red flower. It was still laying there when we went to take the photos. And I thought, oh, I had a plan to add it so I could have red in all three of the sections. Even though there is some red plaid there. But yeah, I just stuck it on there. I, and there's the one with the film strip. And yeah, see the little teeniest, tiniest bit of red I put on the edges of that paper. And here is my top section. And see how great that little uh, piece of green background with the farm and everything went. I, I thought, oh, that's just perfect to put in the frame. Like, kind of like looking out a window. And here is the top cluster with the ABC. And yeah, I had a lot of fun making this layout. But I want to thank you all so very much for joining me while I created it. And I hope y'all have a happy, scrappy week. Bye.